Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, just thought I'd uh, bring your attention to another little item that my other half of it has done. Uh, she interviewed martial artist Zara uh, Fifthian and uh, two fantastic ladies chatting about martial arts and also uh, Zara's film career. Uh, but at the end of the interview, um, uh, I suggested that uh, Yvette try and do some uh, martial arts uh, with uh, Zara. And uh, it's not really Yvette's thing, but she had a go. And uh, yeah, have a look at this. Um, so if we do a grab from behind, from right. the throat, okay, the first thing I want you to do is turn your head in and then just pluck down slightly so if I if I use your arm to grab right. me imagine you're coming right from here right so do you see where this is if I turn my head into you I'm turning into the choke yeah oh yeah right. more. so I want to try and draw up my chin and just create a little bit of space here as much as possible okay right. now what I want you to do is take this leg behind and we're going to use our elbows here and we're going to drop our body weight so we're going to drop the elbow in and drop the body weight here so now my leg is oh, in behind you oh, right. so let's, let's try that to start with Oh, that was a lot of instruction that so, was, wasn't it? Right, so I'm going to put my head here. So think about dropping your chin, yeah. hands up. So imagine if you yeah. if you ever hurt yourself, if you burnt yourself, maybe on an iron or something hot. Right. The first thing instinctively that we do is go to the pain. Right. So when you're being choked, so the first I'm gonna... thing instinctively you're going to do is go to the choke. Right. So if we do that initially. Right, so I'm going to... Yeah, good, drop your chin. Okay, right. so now if you bend your knees and drop your body weight, and then this elbow is free right here right. to drive into my midsection so we can drive back. Good. Now if you drop your body weight and take this leg behind me. There. There we go, keep turning your hip. So you step all the way through. Get behind, get behind. There we go, good. Now elbow me here. Good. Elbow, <laughs> elbow, 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 elbow. Good. Okay, well, let's do the next part. I have a feeling that, that they'd escape. <laughs> then it killed well, me. But, yeah, this is practice. Yes, we're right. practicing right now. Right. Yeah. Okay, so the next part. So this is here. Okay, so I think instinctively we've gone to where the choke is. Right. And we're dropping down. Look, so I'm right. dropping my weight here yeah, as well. Yeah. Okay. Driving this elbow in here. Right. We can also punch and palm. Oh, right. Pull and scratch. There's lots of kind of options here. And what I want to do as I drop down, drive my hips back, and I want to get in behind here in this right. position, okay? Right. So now we're gonna do something really cool. Um, it's a monkey grab. So what we're gonna do from here is go either to the back of the thigh and grab a <gasps> <and> pinch. <laughs> <laughs> I can go inside, okay? Right. Or I can bring my hand around right. from the outside here. Oh, that's complicated. <laughs> that's complicated. <laughs> All I want you to do today is think about instinctively, hands are gonna be up here. Right. Okay, so what are my options here? I'm dropping my body weight. Yeah. I'm trying to release this choke hold here by dropping my chin as well. Right. So elbows. Yeah. You can stamp on the foot if you're wearing heels. Right. You could be scraping down the leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stamping on the foot here. The groin is always an option. So we can strike down with a groin here. Right. We can pinch the back of that leg. Yeah. Which um, is very nice, isn't it? Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and, and strike up here. So I think the most important thing to do is to keep moving yes watch where your throat is and protect yourself keep this nice and tight and if we can i want to get around you here right now as i push my body weight up i'm oh going to take God. you back <laughs> now granted someone who's probably going to grab you is going to be a little bit bigger a little bit stronger so it's about striking to those sensitive yeah. areas into those soft tissue areas it was like, a pinch the pinch hurts doesn't it <laughs> oh, sorry it hurts. <laughs> Like pinch, do you ever do that at school? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I never saw. I never thought to sort of do that because it does make you go like. Yeah, just yeah. Any, any of the sort of soft tissue areas like inside the thigh, you know, grabbing the eyes, gouging the eyes and things like that. Okay, so I'm wow. going to grab you. So you're going to okay. instinctively bring your hands up, drop your body weight, give uh, me some elbows in here. So yeah, kick my leg, drop your body weight down. And then I pinch. You can pinch I, inside. Pinch, is it? Yeah, let's take this leg out as well. So let's get this. I can't behind. move it actually. <laughs> Turn, turn your hips, so shrink your hips that way. There you go. Now get yeah. this leg behind my leg. Good, now you've got more options here. Oh, okay. right. So what I want you to do now is go to the inside of my thigh. You can go to this one. This one's closer to you. Pinch, pinch, pinch and squeeze. Like pinch it like you're pinching the skin. Ah! Right. There you go. And then from here, we've got elbows. You oh, and then bring, I can go you into can bring, it. You can bring this hand around the back through here, in front over the shoulder to my face. Now you're protecting oh, your face right. as well. Yeah. Drive upwards. You can be gouging the eyes right here. Pushing for, and as you push your hips forward, look, you're off balancing me here as well. Oh, yeah. At the same time. Okay. Well, that's, quite, that's really complicated. Obviously, um, 
the main thing you're going to do when you get grabbed here mm. is think, right, it's how am I going to get out of yeah. this? But I think you just need to remember to breathe yeah. and relax and think about, okay, this is the initial attack. Right. Okay, so you're just dropping the, dropping the chin and trying to create that space so that you can still breathe. Right. Because as that choke is going on, if your head's up nice and high, you're going to be going tighter into that choke. Yeah. And it only takes a few seconds. <laughs> and then you're but that is out. a lot to... Do you know what? That is a lot to think about. So when we see just a couple of moves at a film, the amount of work just to do that. And I am rubbish at that, but... I mean, you could just headbutt me. Do I feel feel that? From here, look, you could be striking me here. Yeah. Or if I've released you a little bit, you can be driving just your head up. So if you drive your head up back into me, like a headbutt. So if I use you, like in this position, and I've got that space. Right. Just driving your hips. Imagine I'm headbutting you backwards and driving up here. So it's basically using your elbows, your hands, your feet, yeah. your legs, they're all your weapons in order to protect you. But I think Dear one me. thing that I've learned is if you don't do that kind of stuff and think, right, how can I use my yeah. palm? Just think, ah, strike to the groin. If you don't train that, then it's, it doesn't come naturally and to you to And what comes naturally, it. you're right, is to go like it's that and then you can't breathe and then you, you, you've, had, well, you've had it, haven't you, really? There's different, <laughs> there's different ways also to get choked. So you might get grabs like <clears> this. You might be grabbed here. Yeah. You know, you could be, your hair could be pulled. There's, yeah. There's different ways that you can get grabbed. So you're just kind of practicing different scenarios and, and what comes <clears> natural <throat> to you. So what comes natural to me is whatever I've trained and what I do yeah. might be completely different to you. But I think initially going to where the pain is. Right. Turning your hip and then this like plucking motion, just creating that little bit of space so you can still breathe, which then you can kind of take your time and think about what you need to do to get out of that scenario in that situation. Because right. a lot of times when you get attacked, I hope you never do, <laughs> if you're in that situation, um, you know, panic sets in or you're yeah. gonna freeze mm-hmm. and you haven't got time to think, right, what was combination 22 that we did yeah. because that's against that move. You mm-hmm. haven't got time to think about that. You've got to kind of do what instinctively works for you. Yeah there and then so oh. I think <laughs> that that is harder than it looks because you do have to really use your head you have to use your brain you have to you have to think and and like you just said in situations like that they they you're so frightened that it is complicated you don't think you stop breathing and you completely freeze thank you <laughs> thank you for that. Let, let's do something real simple yeah that you can do really really quick right um, and there's different ways to grab if i just grab your wrist right like this imagine i'm just going to try and pull you just to grab me here right okay? uh, we do this with our uh, our little dragons like our four and five year olds so it's really simple oh. right you're going to open your hand out just like this mm-hmm. and we're going to pull against the thumb so the thumb can't grip very well so we always want to think about going with the thumb so like we did with that choke right we want to think about where that opening was and that's where we want to turn our head i want you to bend your elbow and then open your hands really big and there you go and now you imagine pulling your thumb like you're going to try and brush your hair right. and pull away from my thumb as you bring your hand up oh i That's see yeah. yeah so if you grab my wrist so i'm going to open my hands bend mm-hmm. the elbow because if you just pull here right i'm going to be pulling away from this grip if right. i bend my elbow and pull up against the thumb oh it just releases it release. yeah oh. so i'll grab you so if you open your hands bend your elbow and then turn his palm flat so your little finger's down and your thumb is up. Mm-hmm. So think about where my thumb is. Right. And now pull your thumb away from my thumb straight up. Yes, okay. it does. It releases, doesn't yeah. it? One more time. If you grab my wrist. So open here. Now if you twist when you do it, now I'm pulling down to the fingers again. So you just right. want to think about where the thumb is. And then from there, you grab as strong as you can. Right. Pull from the thumb. And it just goes. Yeah. It? it just opens. Open your hands. Bend your elbow. Pull from the thumb. Imagine you're taking a phone call or you're trying to brush your hair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that now I can do the four to five year olds, no problem. <laughs> I'm with her all the way. Anything beyond, I think. I think that Zara's just found my level. Four to five year old. <laughs> In fact, my daughter could do that. We'll have to teach her, won't we? Yeah, super easy. I think um, you know. I say we do that for four or five hours yeah. because it's it's just about the principle of the movement. Yeah. So again, with the other one, probably we went a little bit too much in too much detail <laughs> straight away. I was well, like, here we go, do this, do this. Um, <laughs> but I mean, with self defence, with anything like that, it's just what comes instinctively to you, yeah. and also what what you train as well. And if you practice something quite regular, it just becomes natural for you to do it. And yeah. if you don't do that, and you know, a lot of people that I speak to, are like, oh, well, if this happened to me, I would do this. Yeah. But if you don't train that and don't practice that, you There's won't no because you know, when that kind of fear kicks in and you freeze and you're actually mm-hmm. in a situation, um, it's completely different. Everyone's yeah. got a plan until they get punched in the face. Yeah, so. apart from <laughs> you, because if you, yeah, Zara, does, she doesn't have to worry about these things. So, can Listen. I ask you, do you think she's got a future in martial arts? <laughs> Everybody has a future in martial arts. What I think is there is the right martial art for different people. So, um, 
yeah, there's martial arts for everybody, but you, I think sometimes you just have to find the right style that suits you. Absolutely. Prob yes, probably the, the over 95s. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's where I'm heading. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, no, Sarah. <laughs>